Welcome to the Navigating Between IIA and C.com and the IIA and C portal video. In this video, we'll be covering how to navigate between the two and what you should be using each page for. Let's jump into it. So, what should you use IIANC.com or the member portal for? The IIANC website should be used to find information specific to IINC, like our member benefits under agency resources, finding upcoming classes or events under education or the conferences and events tab, and locating contact information for our IIANC or NCAIA staff. You should use our IIANC member portal to do things like registering for classes or events, managing your membership, and updating your information. You will also be able to access the membership directory, your learning center, and your education scholarship, all with your member portal. Now, when you're on each of our sites, be sure you're logged in. On our member portal, you'll have limited access if you're not logged in, and on our regular website, there are certain content that's only available to our members. You will know you're logged in because it shows your name in the top right-hand corner of both our website and the member portal. Our main website, IINC.com, will automatically take you to your member portal in places where you need to access it with a button. However, not all buttons on our website will directly link you there. There are a few places where this will happen though. For example, in the education and events section, when it comes time to register, you will end up on your portal after clicking one of the buttons. There are a few shortcuts that you can use to get from IINC.com to your member portal and vice versa. I can show you those now. If you're on IINC.com and logged in, if you click your name in the top right corner, you'll be taken back to your member portal. Then to get back to IINC.com from your portal, there are two places that can help you easily navigate back to IINC.com. The first is the IINC logo in the top left corner. If you click here, it'll take you back to the IINC homepage. Another way is the IINC.com button in the top right corner of the screen. If you click that, you can also get back to the IINC homepage. Another thing that I wanted to let you know here is that your login status will stay between the two websites. If this doesn't happen, please let us know so we can help you fix that. Thank you for watching this video on navigating between IINC.com and your member portal, MyIINC.com. If you have any questions, please let us know by emailing us at membership at IINC.com. Hope you have a great day.